What's with HP and making these stupid updates to their website? So I want to install or download a driver. We're going to click this download here. Okay, so this is after I already went through the whole process. Here you can see they're trying to force you to get this download and install assistant. Why do they want to force you to download their stupid garbage software? So I just want the driver. We're going to click that. You can see it pops up to this. Okay, and then it should pop up. Where is it? Okay, so now it gives you the option where do you want to save the driver? So I'm going to save this. Okay, that's all fine, but then I scroll down here. I want to go back to the drivers. Okay, it goes to the right laptop model, but it resets the operating system stuff. Like, why? So now I got to go in here, select Windows 10. Go in here, select Windows 10 64 bit, and then I got to go in here and click submit. And then it gives me this again. So imagine you got to download like 20 drivers and you have to do that 20 times. It's like, who's, whose stupid idea was that? These programmers need to be fired. They're so bad. They make the experience of using an HP computer like terrible. Why would anyone want this? Okay, so I already downloaded like most of the drivers. Um, and we're going to have to figure out because one of the drivers is missing here so let me close this so usually if you get this um, you can actually check by going to the little yellow thing go to properties okay and then in the details tab I already clicked it but you can see um, you want to go to hardware IDs you can see these I'll copy the first one and then we'll go in here and we'll just paste that up there and usually you can get idea because people will like be talking about all this stuff you can see like unknown device unknown device um, okay and you don't want to click some random stuff because then you can end up getting a virus or something um, so we're gonna go here you can see this is the actual HP website HP does this weird thing with their website h30434 WHP whatever okay Anyways, we're going to go there, and let's see if somebody came up with a, um, what they installed. So here you go, Windows 8, Windows 10, and this person is saying it's this AMD, ASD, whatever. They're not saying what exactly it is, but here you go, hardware, device manager, da 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 So they don't tell you what this thing is different driver look inside set up INF files okay so these people are saying other stuff okay these people said the solution worked so I'm kind of curious what it what is this driver for why don't they just say like it's this driver it's AMD, ASD, whatever that is. We're going to click this little download thing. And we're going to see, I'm going to see if I can figure out what it is. Um, if you can just download it from HP's website. Like, why is it that you can only get it there? That's kind of strange. Okay. I don't think we're going to need that audio one, but we can download it anyways. I think that's the last driver I need. I downloaded so many drivers. Um, usually most of the updates from Windows Update are sufficient and you don't need them. For some reason this laptop also hangs and freezes uh, when the video drivers installed so I'm gonna try the video driver from HP directly. I'm also gonna try updating the BIOS and see if that helps at all. Um, but we got a bunch of drivers uh, from HP and we had to use that annoying thing of it keeps shutting itself off. You can see Pretty much all the updates are almost done. Okay, I'm going to open up this zip folder and see what's in here. WB64A. So we're going to take that out. And we dumped it here. Let's see. So it's not even a regular driver. Um, I'm going to try doing the, so here you can see, adaptive S4 ACPI device driver. So... I don't think this is even a driver that HP gives on their website, so that's interesting. I'm going to try HP's drivers first because I did 
download a whole bunch from their website. So um, for this one, let me go back. It's very annoying. See how many times you got to do this? It's very annoying. Who's whose idea was to build the website like this. It was already annoying before this, like there was a back button, but at least it kept the operating system stuff. They're trying to force you to download their software to download, install, or whatever, which I hate. Okay, anyways, the ones I downloaded but I didn't install yet are the BIOS update one. Okay, let's continue scrolling down. So I down, I'm downloading the audio one, I downloaded the graphics one, I downloaded the Synaptics touchpad and HP wireless driver, um, and then I downloaded the Realtek uh, RTL8723, RTL8188EE one, and I also did the Realtek local area network driver, I did the card reader one, I didn't do any of the hard drive firmwares and any of that other stuff. So all of them downloaded now. I'm going to try installing them one by one. Um, I'll do the BIOS one later because that one for sure needs to restart and it's still updating. So this is the BIOS one. I'm going to skip that for now. Um, next, I think I want to try and do the video one first just to see if it's going to cause it to lock up like before. Like the mouse and everything would just like keep freezing and then unfreeze and then freeze and then unfreeze. So I hope this driver doesn't have that same issue because if it does it might be it has a video chip issue so we'll see what happens now it's installing this one's probably going to require me to restart as well but it's not as like urgent that I restart the BIOS one you kind of need to immediately restart after okay so we'll do that what else sometimes this can be the card reader it can also be the wireless button driver. Usually there's a driver for like the chipset, but uh, I don't know. I don't see that on this one, right? So let's do the AMD one. We're gonna do a custom install. Okay, I don't need web content. Next. All right. So usually on custom install, it lets you tell it like you don't want to or you want to do like a clean install and wipe out all the old stuff but in this case it didn't ask me that so that's kind of strange I don't know if it's gonna wait till after it checks everything oh there you go okay so now you can select all the stuff we want all those drivers and everything we'll go next accept okay and now it's going let's see maybe that has one of the drivers that go in here Okay, it's strange if they would make you have to do one of these kind of installs. This is basically like someone just pulled the driver itself out of like one of these kind of installers. Usually usually when you get the drivers to install, they don't come like that. Okay, so it's going to install this driver. What else do we got? It's installing the display driver, so the screen's probably going to flash off and on soon. Okay, this is the card reader one. I'll wait until this finishes to make sure whether that fixes anything or not, or if it causes the thing to start locking up again. Okay, screen's flashing. There we go. Okay, let's see. So far, mouse is still working okay. We still have the unknown device. Oh, and I think that's it, AMD S4, see? So that's the driver, and that fixed the missing driver. So I don't know why people's solution is to download and install this. You don't need that, I'm throwing that away. Um, you actually just want the AMD driver directly from HP. So when you get the graphics driver, get it directly from HP. Don't get it from Windows Update because, yeah, it causes problems, it causes the computer to lock up, freezes and all that other bad stuff. Um, so yeah, get the driver from HP directly. If you're wondering how, let me show you here again. So you go to HP's website. Okay, so hp.com. All right, and then they do this stupid stuff where they put all these ads on their website. 
that make their website super slow. I don't need any of that. We're going to go to support and then software and drivers. And that's weird because the website wasn't even looking like that before. So not only, not only did they change their website, um, yeah, there used to be like the little three horizontal lines here or here, um, but now they have this support tab here, okay? So depending where or what HP is doing with their website at the time, whatever the stupid engineers are trying to do to not get fired because their job is pointless changing the website for no reason, um, yeah, I don't know. Anyways, um, what you want to do is look at the bottom of your laptop and here you have the uh, model number. So this one's 15 AF131DX. It's uh, different on every computer. So we're going to go to this is a laptop. And again, of course, the website can change at any time. So keep that in mind. All right, we're going to type in 15 AF131DX. All right. And then you get this list and it will fill itself up. And then you want to click the one that will randomly appear from that list. So click that. It'll go in here. And then we're back to that. Select your OS and everything, BS, whatever, that HP engineers are trying to force you to download their stupid installer downloader thing um, and make your life miserable because they want people, or maybe they think people are stupid and they want them to use their tool that's supposed to do it for them. But I don't know. I don't like HP's extra bundled garbage software on the computer. So I don't use any of that. I just download them directly. Okay. So anyways, we finish that and you can see, uh, right now it's okay. Um, I'm going to say no to rebooting for now. Um, I'm going to also install the other drivers because if the video card driver causes all that issue, then probably other things are going to be causing issues as well. So why not install the official ones from HP? I'm going to also check and see what's going on with the updates. Um, but that's pretty much it. If you had that little yellow triangle thing there on this model laptop, what you want is that um, AMD driver. Also, if you had the bad driver, um, you'd want to go into the device manager and then right click the thing and then go to properties. Um, or you could have just for after right clicking, click uninstall driver. I rolled back the driver um, and then it went back to the Microsoft basic display adapter. And then now that I installed this driver, hopefully after restarting, it's not going to have any issues, but yeah, I installed that and now it's fine. So there you go. Okay. Again, you want to avoid, I'm going to move these over the ones I finished. Okay. Oops. Yeah, you want to avoid the Windows update version of the video card driver because that caused problems. But anyways, I'm just going to install the rest, these network drivers and everything. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully this video helped you guys out. If it did, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. And if it helped you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. If you can't help out that way, it would help a lot if you could watch a few of my other videos and then like and comment on those as well, because that's what the algorithm likes to see. But uh, other than that, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. And yeah, I'll see you all in the next one. Don't forget to install all the other drivers. Don't install their junk software, but install the drivers. All right, that's it. See you all in the next one. If you're wondering what's the difference between the software and the drivers, drivers control and uh, work with the hardware components. Software, they don't care what hardware you have. It's just like programs that launch. All right, so that's the difference. Anyways, see you guys later.